on this episode of Celebrity Health Scares, we're going to get into actor Martin Lawrence health scares. He actually had a couple of them though. So let's start when he was hospitalized in July 1995 while on the set filming the classic movie called A Thin Line Between Love and Hate in which was his directing debut. Now, you know, the reports say he had lashed out in a violent rage and was then hospitalized at a medical center. You know what's crazy? I always thought, too, in that movie, uh, Thin Line Between Love and Hate, he, Martin always he looked like he was high, like real high because his eyes were so red in that movie, like he was tired or something. But then the following year, on May 8th, 1996, he was hospitalized again due to a possible mental breakdown. Now, the story goes right. Martin was on his set of his movie, Nothing to Lose, another classic movie he did. And he was having trouble remembering his lines. And he was just laughing like crazy over nothing. And he was unable to stop. So that's when an, an assistant called his wife at the time. And told her how he was acting. And the director of the movie, Nothing to Lose, sent Martin home. Now, according to Martin's ex-wife, his wife at the time, but now his ex-wife, she said Martin didn't come home until 5 a.m. And he was up again around 8 or 9 a.m., you know, rambling about wanting to go wash the car or something like that. So he went to the car wash with a loaded gun in his pocket and he ended up in the street traffic screaming and yelling at cars all through the traffic now they say he was he started cursing he was waving his hands and he was yelling this is what he was yelling fight the establishment fight the power fight you know don't give up i always told everybody they would be coming to see me one day and they say he had snot mucus smeared all over his face and everything wow that's crazy he was yelling fight the establishment fight the power fight you know don't give up i always told everybody they'll be coming for me someday hmm so i wonder what he meant what did he mean by that I always told everybody they'll be coming for me someday you know like he ran in the street, all in the busy traffic and everything, cursing and screaming on cursing and screaming at oncoming cars. And when the police arrived, he tried to fight them off. And the police were very, very forcefully putting their arms around him and trying to hold him down because he was fighting so much and yelling. According to a witness, the witness said he was like a madman. They say he even bit one of the cops. Wow. So once the cops restrained him, they found him with a loaded gun in his pocket and they took him to the hospital in a health center and later released him to a personal physician at the medical center. And they tried to charge him with the misdemeanor possession of a concealed firearm. And the police had put out a statement that Martin may have had a seizure because he failed to take a prescribed medication he was on. Hmm. But then Martin's publicist, you know, they put out a statement saying his doctor said Martin was suffering from a case of complete exhaustion and dehydration. Then on July 29th, 1996, he was arrested at the airport for trying to board a plane to Phoenix while carrying a loaded nine millimeter Beretta and when police arrived, he told the police he thought guns were allowed on the interstate flights. But, you know, he ended up receiving two years probation and a fine for that whole incident. Now, some say, you know, he was just going through some rough times in his life because he had filed for a divorce from his wife, Patricia, at that time. And she had won a restraining order against him, claiming he threatened to kill her and her family. And she also told the judge that one time Martin had went off crazy 
on the set of his show, Martin, screaming and cursing and refusing to be restrained. You know, uh, during that period, during that time period, it got so bad that the show producers had to stop production because of his behavior. And he was admitted to the hospital, but then was later found wandering in the streets in his pajamas, talking about going to a surprise party for himself at the Hard Rock Cafe. Wow. Now, his ex-wife also stated that he has undergone psychiatric treatment and was taking psychotropic medication, which may be anything from a tranquilizer to lithium, and he had to have a full-time live-in nurse. Wow. He had to have a full-time live-in nurse at that time, y'all. She said, uh, psychiatric testing found impairment in his thought processes, evidence of paranoia and lack of rational perspective. Plus, his psychiatrist said he is suffering from a mental conditions that interfere with his day-to-day -day functioning. Then, three months later, around November 1996, Tisha Campbell, you know, she had to file a lawsuit against him, alleging sexual harassment and abuse both on and off the set. But that's a whole another story we'll get into later. Y'all remember when um, Dave Chappelle did that interview and said when they did Blue Street and were promoting it, Martin had had a stroke or something. He almost died. And Chappelle was like, he had saw Martin and was asking him, was he okay? And Martin told him that he got the best sleep he ever got in his life. That's how tough he is, Dave Chappelle said. Now, Dave Chappelle also told the people in the audience that day on that interview, which is on YouTube. But he was like, what is happening in Hollywood that a guy that tough like Martin would be in the street waving a gun, screaming, they are trying to kill me. Hmm. He said, what's going on? He said, what's going on? Why is Dave Chappelle going to Africa? Why does Mariah Carey make a hundred million dollar deal and take her clothes off on TRL? He said, a weak person cannot get to sit here and talk to you. Ain't no weak people talking to you. So what is happening in Hollywood? Nobody knows. The worst thing to call somebody is crazy. It's dismissive. I don't understand this person, so they're crazy. Dave Chappelle says BS because people are not crazy. They're strong people. Maybe the environment is a little sick. Wow. Dave Chappelle was trying to tell people what was going on. He was trying to tell people. Now, here's the crazy part, right? Somebody had asked Martin, what did he think about Dave Chappelle's comments? When he was talking about him, right? And Martin disagreed with Dave Chappelle. He said uh, he didn't agree with Dave Chappelle because whatever it is, if he was involved in it or it didn't put a good look on him, if it was his fault or somebody else's fault, it's just not a good look, he said. And he owns up to that. Martin said when he was younger, he owned up to it and he owns up to it now. He said he's a better person as a result of the things he got into when he was young because he knew not to do them again. He knows not to repeat that kind of behavior. But, you know, Martin, you know, <laughs> Martin Lawrence did admit that he smoked marijuana and was taking the prescription drug Zoloft for manic depression. He said the weed was causing his bad behavior. That's why he don't smoke marijuana no more. Wow. But then in 1999, here's another health scare, right? Martin had another health scare when he had slipped into a three-day coma from a heat stroke. Now, the story behind that incident goes, it was a Sunday around 11.30 a.m. And he decided to go for a jog with some extra clothes on. You know, Martin had put on some extra layers of heavy clothing to sweat off some pounds for this movie role he was doing at the time. And, you know, the weather was like 100 degrees that day. And he went for the jog. But then his girlfriend became concerned when Martin didn't return. And she went to look for him. And that's when she found him on the doorstep. 
she found Martin on the doorstep, slumped over, moaning and having difficulty breathing. And that's when she called the paramedics. So by the time he arrived to the hospital, he was in very critical and unstable condition because his temperature was about 107 degrees and the doctors had to cool his body with cold water, ice and fans. Wow. And, you know, he ended up slipping into a coma due to severe heat exhaustion while exercising. He had extreme overheating, which can cause permanent kidney, brain and cardiac damage. They say, uh, they say when your body becomes overheated like that, muscles begin to break down into proteins, which then flows through the blood. The kidney, which cleans the blood, becomes clogged with the proteins, which can cause a coma and result even in death. Wow. But you know, Martin ended up waking up three days later from that coma with no permanent brain damage, which is great, man. I'm glad he did. And you know, you know, right now, Martin is doing good. And he just received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. You know, they're working on the next Bad Boys movie. But you know, just recently, fans were concerned about him after they seen him on the Emmys and the way he was talking on there, they say his speech was slurred, slurring his words or whatever, but come to find out the teleprompter has some technical problems, but you know, I'm glad he's doing good. That's my favorite comedian of all time. He's, he's the best to me out of all the comedians in the world. So shout outs to Martin Lawrence and keep doing your thing. And stay tuned for more episodes of Celebrity Health Scares.